This pig-sized, low-slung animal resembled a tapir or pygmy hippo rather than an elephant. Found in Egypt, Senegal and Mali, it weighed about 200 kilograms and was probably partly aquatic in its habits. Even at this early stage in evolution, two of the incisors were tusk-like. Evolved alongside its smaller cousin, Moeritherium, but probably browsed in forests rather than wallowing in swamps. Both the upper and lower jaws were long, the flattened tusk of the lower jaw forming a spoon-shaped extension used for gathering food. Its remains have been found in Egypt. Remarkable for its four tusks, this animal was three meters tall and fossils of it have been found in France, Kenya, Pakistan and Nebraska in North America. There was a progressive reduction of teeth at this stage but those that remained developed a number of high ridges to increase the grinding area. In body size, this animal was similar to today's elephant, but was found roaming the prairies of North America. The plains were crossed by many winding rivers, and it's in this niche that Ambelidon lived. The flattened tusks of the elongated lower jaw lay side by side, forming a shovel which projected more than a metre to a spade-like cutting edge. The purpose of the remarkable tusks are still debatable. Such a shape seems so unlikely that when early skeletons were put together in 1820, scientists attached the jaw upside down. The tusks may have been used to strip bark or for digging roots. Found in Germany, India and Kenya, it stood at 4 metres tall and was clearly a very successful animal as it survived unchanged for 20 million years. Another shovel tusker, whose remains have been found in Europe, Asia and Africa. Shovel tuskers were extremely specialised animals, designed to fill a certain niche. Like all highly specialised animals, they were not a very long-lived group. This was a cold climate animal, and its skin was covered with a coat of long, shaggy hair. Remains have been found as far north as Alaska, and as far south as Florida. It was three metres in height, and like the woolly mammoth, became extinct only about 10,000 years ago. Ananchus was widespread throughout Europe and Asia, where it lived in woods and forests. Its long tusks, four metres in length, and as long as the rest of the animal itself, were used for browsing and digging. It died out when grasslands replaced the woodland habitat in which it lived. This large, long-legged elephant was a warm climate animal and lived in lush woodlands in Britain and Europe. During a period known as interglacial, climates became very warm, even as far north as Britain. As each interglacial period ended and the climate cooled, Eliphas moved southward, and in the northern lands it was replaced by the mammoths. Hunted to extinction as recently as 400 AD, this 2.7 metre high elephant ancestor evolved in western North America and migrated to South America, spreading from grassy pampas to the heights of the Andes reaching as far as Argentina. Its tusks were spiral, much like those of a narwhal. One of the largest of the mammoths, it was 4.5 metres tall and its enormous tusks could measure 5.2 metres. It probably roamed in herds across cold grasslands in Germany and England. It was probably the first to develop the woolly coat, as it lived in a much colder climate than its ancestors. At only 90 centimetres tall, this was a tiny elephant found on the Mediterranean islands of Cyprus, Crete, Malta, Sicily, some Greek islands and the southern tip of Calabria on the Italian mainland. During the lower sea levels of the glacial periods, the elephant was able to reach these islands. As the glaciers melted in the interglacial periods, these areas became isolated. In these small areas, natural selection would favour animals that made best use of the reduced quantities of food, so dwarf varieties evolved. Although often thought of as a giant, in fact the woolly mammoth is one of the smallest of its type, only measuring 2.7 metres high. The coat consisted of long black hairs, not red as many reconstructions depict. They lived in Europe, Asia and North America.